Austin, what bird are we gonna draw today? A dodo. Yeah, a dodo bird. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You got a marker and some paper. You ready to start? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna first draw our dodo's eye. We're gonna draw it right in the middle of our paper and we're gonna draw, well, maybe a little to the top left. And we're gonna draw a big circle. Boop. Good. Now we're gonna draw a smaller circle in the top right. And even smaller circle down at the bottom left. And then we could color in the big circle but leave these two little ones white. Now we're going to draw the beak for our dodo bird and they have crazy beaks. So we're going to start right here and we're going to draw a U shape. We're going to start right here and draw a U. Goes down and back up. Not too far down. Yeah. Now and right here on the end, we're going to curve back around the other way. Good. Now we're going to draw the mouth. We're going to draw a curve that comes up and back. So we start right here and then draw a curve that comes up. Then we could draw the bottom of the dodo's mouth. We're going to draw a curve that comes down. Just a little one. Then we're going to draw a curve going the other way again. They have weird shaped beaks, don't they? Yeah. Now on his beak, let's draw an S curve. So I'm going to curve this way and then back the other. See how it curves both directions. Start there, curve there, and then back down. Now we're gonna draw a line on the bottom of his beak also, right there. Now let's draw the top of our dodo bird's head. And I'm gonna draw a zigzag line for a little bit. So I'm gonna draw a little zigzag line, it goes around like this. And that looks like he has feathers on the top of his head. You know, to make this step a little easier, why don't you just draw a rainbow line? You don't have to draw the zigzags. There you go. And that makes it a little easier, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now on the back of his head, we're gonna keep coming down like this, close to his neck. See how we're now close to the bottom of his mouth. So we're gonna curve down to about there. Dodo birds are funny looking, aren't they? All right. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw his belly. And we're going to draw a curve. Comes down and around. Boy, big. He's super tall. I like it. Okay, now we're going to draw the back of his body. And we're going to draw another curve that comes around like this. So I'm going to draw a little curve right here. We can just draw a little one. Boop. Then we can draw the back of his body. And I'm going to draw some zigzags on the back of his body, but you can leave these off and you could just draw a round line that comes around. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I like him. I really like how tall he is. And you also connected right there and that's okay, right? So watch this, I'm gonna connect just like you did. And we're, so now the body goes all the way around, but let's draw a U shape right here for his first leg. So we draw a U right there. Boop. Good. Now let's draw his legs. We're going to draw two, two little lines that come out. Nice. And then we're going to draw a big toe that comes out like this and back. Almost looks like a raindrop. Good job. Okay, now we're going to draw another toe right next to this one. We're going to draw, look at that, Boop. draw another one that comes down and that's okay. Our drawings look a little different, right? Yeah. And that's okay. So now we're going to draw his back toe connecting back here. My toes are a little bit longer than yours, but I still like your drawing. How old are you? Eh? Six. Six, you're doing a great job. Okay, now I'm gonna add one more toe, and if you want, you can leave this off. But I'm just gonna add another toe back there so he has three toes. Now we're gonna draw his other foot, and I'm gonna draw it kind of sticking out. So I'm gonna draw another U. We could draw it right here. Maybe he's walking. <laughs> then I'm going to draw two lines that come straight out like that. Yeah. And then we're going to draw, we're going to draw that first toe. So it's kind of a raindrop line that comes out and then back in. Good. And then we'll draw another toe right next to it. Oh, good. And then we're going to draw his back toe. 
And then we're gonna draw one more toe and you can leave this one off so you have the same number of toes. Okay, now he's missing one thing on his body. What is it? His wings. Yeah, he's missing little teeny wings. And we're gonna draw a C shape, a C line, right there on his body. Yes, and then we're gonna draw a bumpy line going back up. Okay, now let's draw some longer feathers, not too long. We're gonna draw a feather that comes out and back in. Then we're gonna draw another one right next to it. Yeah, and then you can draw another feather right in between those two so they're closer together. And I'm just gonna add that last one. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna add one more little one right on the top. He also has tail feathers and they're kind of short too. So I'm gonna draw a rainbow line that comes out of the back. Right here we could draw a little rainbow line. And then right underneath, we're gonna draw bumpy lines going back in. Perfect. Let's draw another tail feather right here. So I'm gonna draw another rainbow line right above it. And then we could draw bumpy lines coming back in. Let's do one more. I'm gonna draw a smaller one, little rainbow line. And then we can draw a bumpy line coming back in. And we got one last line we're gonna draw on his face. So we're gonna draw a curve that comes down and around his eye. So we're gonna start right here and just come around his eye. Then we're gonna connect it all the way down here to his neck. And we did it, we finished our dodo birds and you did a great job. I can't believe you're six years old, you did so awesome on his feet. What do we need to do still? Color it. Color it, yeah, he's gonna look so much better colored in. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same color. He did awesome on coloring your dodo bird. And we colored ours blue and orange. Those are kind of crazy colors, but you guys at home can color yours gray or brown. We thought this was more fun though, right? Yeah. It's okay that their drawings look different than ours, right? Yeah. Yeah, because the most important thing is to have fun. Yeah, to have fun and to practice. And to do your best. Do your best. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.